Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron at Atwalker by Jazzwares. Now if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. All right, so here we have the much anticipated Micro Galaxy Squadron at, at Walker by Jazzware. This was first revealed last year at Star Wars Celebration in London, I believe. And they've recently begun to hit store shelves here in the US. So taking a look at the packaging, really cool large window display box. You can see it's got a dio of the Hoff battle scene in the background. In the lower left inset, you can see five minifigs. You've got your at-at driver, General Veers, Luke Skywalker, two snow troopers, and just above them is a speeder. Of course, you got the at-at vehicle. And in the right inset, there are obligatory product shots that demonstrate some of the features of the vehicle. On the side panel, you've got some artwork from the Battle of Hoth. And then on the back, you've got your obligatory product shots and all of the features of this vehicle listed below at the bottom as well as the diagrams and the inset. In the center left you have a cut out collectible blueprint of the AT, -AT Walker. And it is electronic with lights and sounds. It does require three AAA batteries that are not included with the toy. Alright we have the AT, at outside of the packaging. Now to begin, let's talk about everything that's included inside of the box. First and foremost, you've got your one page instruction sheet, which outlines everything that's included. Shows you how to remove the battery compartment cover, which is on the bottom of the chassis. Install three AAA batteries and replace the cover. And on this page, it demonstrates all of the features. And it tells you that after 30 minutes of inactivity, the vehicle will go into sleep mode. And I'll tell you up front, don't keep pressing the buttons over and over or it won't work. It shows you how to open the canopy and install the action figures, how to remove the troop bay cover, how to install and use the uh, crane, and how to store the speeder bikes and the hangar bay on the back. This outlines how to install the grappling hook for Luke Skywalker to replicate the scene from Empire Strikes Back. That's all that's on the instruction sheet. Also included is the backdrop and diorama that you see the walker standing on. Small plastic bag is the actual grappling hook. There's not much to it. You've just got this peg that plugs into a port on the bottom of the walker and then this large hook that grabs the loop minifig around the body. Also included are the five minifigs. Let's take a moment to talk about those. You have your at, at pilot. You've got General Veers with his infantry armor, Luke Skywalker in his health gear, two snow troopers. Then on the back, it's got the blueprints for each of those figures. Also included is the Imperial speeder bike and flight stand. This is really neat. I do like this. There's a lot of molded detail on this. on the bottom top of it so that's really cool I do like that this is one of the features that they don't have to include when they make these things but they did now if you're watching this product review and you don't know anything about the at at other than it's a large walking thing in Star Wars this is the Quake Drive Yards all-terrain armored transport the AT-AT is a mechanized and self-propelled artillery platform and troop transport. It is the most heavily armored ground vehicle utilized by the Imperial Army. Each of these at, -AT stands approximately 22.5 meters tall. They are armed with four anti-personnel blasters as well as two heavy laser turrets under the chin of the command module. They can carry up to 40 stormtroopers and four Imperial speeder bikes on the hangar deck. The armor on the AT-AT -AT is impervious to almost all medium and heavy blaster fire. Okay, so let's take a look at the at, -AT walker itself. And I wanna begin with the command module. 
first and foremost, I want to talk about the anti-personnel blasters mounted on the side. You see there is a larger blaster here, a smaller one here. You've got your hatch up here on the top. Back here at the back, what many people consider to be the neck of the walker, this is actually a pass-through tunnel and support frame that connects the command module to the body. Up front, you've got your chin-mounted heavy laser turrets. There's two of those, and these are electronic, as well as the viewport, it is also electronic. And the head, as you see, can pivot up and down as well as side to side. And one thing I want to point out, even on the back of the command module, there's panel lines, there's molded detail. That's a small feature that manufacturers would normally overlook. Jazzware did not. Even on the connectors here and the gears, they're detailed. On the side, you see more detailing on the body of the walker. Back here is the drive engine and reactor. This rear section is the hangar bay for the speeder bikes. Up here, you've got your troop deck. There's another deck down here, and this would be the side access hatch, which would slide up, and the troops could deploy if the walker was kneeled or fast deploy. Uh, on ropes by fast roping down the side of the walker. There's also a winch located inside that part of the troop deck. Okay, let's talk about articulation. So if you pick it up, it's fully articulated on each of the independent legs. So up here, what would be, I guess the shoulders, what people call it. You got a full range of motion there, full range of motion on this lower joint, as well as the foot pad being individually articulated as well. Okay, so let's talk about the interior of the AT-18. To begin, we're gonna talk about the command module. Now to open the hatch, you just pull on that tab and it will open up and there's your cockpit. And you can see there's a lot of nice molded detail in here. You've got two seats for the pilot and the gunner, a clip, the whole general veers. A lot of nice molded detail and the control stations for the vehicle. Molded detail on the side terminals there. That's on both sides, as well as the computer and command terminals for general veers. And this entire cockpit area lights up with the electronic light and sound features. So you place the minifigs inside the command module. You want to take your at -at driver and raise his hands up and angle it on his feet and legs because they're going to go under the front of the control panel and then you can bring his arms back down like that. I wish they had included two of these instead of Luke Skywalker. Okay, to insert General Veers take him and raise his arms up and bring him in. I guess you could do this one of two ways. You could squeeze his legs or uh, push him all the way to the back like this and try to bring him forward with a pair of tweezers. I don't have that so I'm just going to try to squeeze his legs and get him into the clip. bring his arms back around. Yep, he's all the way in, there you go. So there he is in the command module. Okay, now for the troop bay. So you wanna come here to the back and pull up on the side panel. It's gonna lift off. You can see it's part of the top, the back and the side, and just remove that. And on the interior, on the top deck, you have your troop deck, which will hold 10 of the stormtroopers, their seats. And you can take those two uh, snow troopers that are included. The legs will bend. 
this one doesn't want to. Try to get down in the seats. Here we go. And here's another one. His arms position out like a stormtrooper commander. Like he's running the winch on the lower deck. But he will also fit up top. And on the lower deck, you have the swing out winch. You can see how it's designed. It's just held in by friction. It comes down like so, and then you can roll it back up like this. And take the claw, put it back in. The other thing you can do with that is it can raise and lower a speeder bike. I think it's supposed to be positioned something like that. Or it can raise and lower them. Oh, like so. And then you can close that up. And if you open it back up on the interior you can see the computer consoles we'll take a look at that when we look at the lights and sounds back here is the hangar deck for the speeder bikes there are one two three four of those pegs and that is screen accurate we've got this port on the bottom and you can plug the speeder bike in and store it like that how cool is that that is awesome i do like that feature and you can replace your cover and your AT, AT is ready to go into battle. Okay, so I wasn't even gonna bother showing this feature, but I know many of you are fans of Luke Skywalker. I don't care about him, I like Jenner, so. But I'll go ahead and demonstrate this anyway. So let's talk about the grappling hook. So take it out of plastic packaging. And on this end, you've got the clip to go around Luke's body. This end is the actual hook that goes in the bottom of the vehicle. And you can see how it's shaped. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna go up into that port and you rotate it so that it catches against the inside wall and won't fall out. If you flip the vehicle over on the bottom, there's two. There's one here and one up here at the front. So if you were to put it in this one and just rotate it around, if you push it up in there, it's gonna catch and hold like that. And then here's farm boy Luke. Just clip this around his waist. Let's talk about the electronic light and sound features on the AT-AT. There are two buttons. First and foremost, you have the startup button and then the top button. The startup button activates the light and sound features. It also activates the walking sound. So you press this. And if you continue to press it, You get your walking sounds. And you can see that the cockpit lights up. If you remove the side cover and swing out the hatch, you can see the light up command console and the lights up top of the troop bay. That is really neat. I do like that feature. And if you don't depress anything for 30 seconds, it'll go into sleep mode and you'll have to depress the start button again. For the blaster sound effects, press that. Prepare to target the main engine. You hear General Veer's voice. Target maximum firepower. Will debark for ground assault. Prepare to target the main 
And if you open the cart pit, you can see that it's also lit up. Overall, this thing is impressive. This is a great alternative to those larger scale toys for the three and three quarter inch scale action figures. And the reason being is that you can buy more than one of these as well as the other vehicles and spaceships. You can build your own dios and set them up for display, for toy photography. You can do mixed scale shots with your vintage collection, your black series figures have these in the background. They are just awesome. Above and beyond that, it is a really nice toy. It is certainly worth the cost. These retail for $59.99 here in the U.S. If you're a Star Wars collector or a fan, you definitely want to add this to your collection. I guarantee you these will exponentially go up in value very, very quickly. So if you have an opportunity to pick it up, you need to buy it while you can. So there you have the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 2 Imperial at At Walker by Jazzwares.